you, it's, it's like somebody punching you in the face. You get such a shock. You don't realise. It, it's, it's the most un, unnatural feeling in the world to feel that sick. And that's how I felt. Absolutely sick. I think what we um, come across most frequently with people who've had a stroke is such a sudden and massively life-changing event. Um, the Stroke Information Guide's given us a way of having that information centralised in one accessible place that is current and that we know we don't need to double check is potentially out of date information that we're giving someone. The whole idea of the guide was to get everybody who has had a stroke to be treated exactly the same and that is something that we really need to strive to get towards because it's such a frightening thing for the patient and for the family mm -hmm. and I found that the guide invaluable because it covered such a range of disabilities. That's what I found anyway. Well, the, 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 the guide is very informative uh, and it's, it, it's, it's uh, different, it, it's got different topics. So if, for instance, in instance it was uh, about your diet, you could go straight to the diet without going through all the, the uh, literature. I think the Stroke Information Guide is a good tool because it is specific to stroke and it is specific to this local area and it's a centralised resource for all of the potential information as well as um, other services that are out there that someone who's had a stroke might want to or it might be helpful to them to link with. Um, so I kind of think, I think it's essential, really.